And Lulu. All right, we're reacting to Iron Maiden. Iron, what? In fact, if you remember, there's a song like, na, 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 I'm the Iron Maiden, baby. They seen about it. All I know is that uh, they always had the Ooh, coolest, I think, I think, like the I fans think, yeah. had the coolest t-shirts. Because okay. at that time, I was living in Saudi Arabia. I mean, you know, international school there. Every time the kids go back to the U.S. for the summer, they come back with more Iron Maiden t-shirts. So I think there were... A, Pretty quintessential 80s rock band. Mm. And that character, which I never knew about because I'm looking up, you know, fun facts about them. It has a name. They call him Eddie, which I'm like, that's really? what you're going to call this character that looks like the spawn of Satan. Oh, that doesn't look like Eddie. Yeah, I know. Right. Yeah. But the dude's name Eddie. is, 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 is Eddie. 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 Yeah. Iron Maiden. I was trying to think of like what to react to first. And some fans had said, need to check out the number of the beast, which came out in the mid eighties. This is a good time for an info dump in the comments. If you're a huge fan of Iron yes. Maiden. Yeah. And tell us about Eddie. Yeah. What, what the kidding. whole Eddie thing is about. All I know is Eddie <laughs> sold a lot of freaking t-shirts. That's Damn. that's for sure. All right, let's check this out, you all. Yes, Pretty excited to see what the sound is like here. By the way, if you want to hear some wicked wild stories, you got to check out my podcast. And if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show. I turn you into a beast. Woe to you, O earth and sea, for the devil sends the beast with wrath. That's Kinda sexy. Like a, no, Vincent Price for sure. sexy. <laughs> Let him who hath understanding reckon the number of the beast. For it is a human number. Its number is 666. 666. I left alone. My mind was blank. I needed time to think to get the memories from my mind. What did I see? Oh, this is a jam. Can I believe? Woo! What I saw that night was real and not just fantasy. Just what I saw in my old dreams were the reflections of my woman staring back at me. Cause in my dreams, it's always there. The evil face that twists my mind and brings me to despair. It's like Godzilla. <laughs> Woo!
Damn. That was hard, man. Wow. Oh that was God. awesome. Holy. I love it. Ooh, I'm so impressed with the stage, though. With all the acts. Um, oh, that man. stage is just full of random shit. I don't yeah. know what's impressive about that. that almost feels uh, like well, some sort of high school musical where, like, yeah. whatever propsy guy's got in the back, let's just throw it up it, there. As long as they're <laughs> beast and monster. I feel like they didn't even get clearance of copyrights with, like, putting in Godzilla. Like, they had the me, like, Godzilla I'm a badass. Even- yeah, the devil, 666. And Godzilla's running through. I'm like... <laughs> Well, that's all the monster, whatever, beast, or whatever. Okay, yeah. Mm. (laughs) You know, it's funny. I remember now, like, hints of controversy for them back in the 80s because, you know, this kind of music, and it's funny, you kind of think back, like, different eras, you know, how Elvis was too much because he was shaking his pelvis, and that was too sinful and when the Beatles came the the British invasion again like rock and roll is back for you I remember this era where you know they were seen about the devil and stuff like that and it was like parents like no this stuff is bad heavy metal especially like mentioning 666 exactly I mean they were just very I didn't realize the number of the beast meant 666 I thought like they were gonna call somebody like some sort of (laughs) hey help help." (laughs) I'm gonna call the werewolf because the initial you know it it was a werewolf so I'm like yeah, I thought it was like, we got your number. In other words, we know you're the werewolf. I didn't realize he was saying it's, you know, oh, about the, it's the, the evil, the, the evil yeah, saying. The evil. Yeah. The same. But I'm saying they could have made this much more sinister. And I'm like, yeah, if they showed more like devil worshiping and the, you know, and, and just blood. That being said. <laughs> yeah, but the music, the music is pretty is good. Fire. Yeah. Right from the get go. I'm like, yeah. damn. His voice right. when he's screaming, I'm like, mm-hmm. what? Pretty good. The band, they're pretty good. Yeah, that guitar solo was just, that was like, <laughs> melt, like finger melting good. All right. I, I definitely want to check out more from them. I'm surprised I never heard the song before because it feels like, feels familiar, uh. but it's, you know. Or maybe because I would stand so close to the cool kids. And back then, they didn't have the good headphones. You you had the Walkmans. Yes. And you had the headphones where the music would leak out. And you could uh-huh. kind of hear, like, oh, <laughs> like, oh, that's what. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have a Walkman. I was not that cool. Or my parents were cheap. 